Hi, Keith. What are you up to these days? Hi, Sally. I'm working on the uh, Mars 2020 rover. Um, our next um, uh, mission to Mars. It's a, a rover that's going to look very much like Curiosity launching in 2020. And we have started building it this year. Very cool. Can you describe yourself in three words? Um, good question. I would say uh, father, husband, and curious. What is the first thing you do in the morning and the last thing you do at night? Um, ashamed to say, but I think uh, the best answer is I read email, both in the morning <laughs> and at night. I think most people would agree. <laughs> do you miss any particular Cajun food that you can't get in California? Um, of course, I get my um, annual crawfish boil fix at the LSU Alumni Crawfish Boil in Southern California. And um, other than that, I really do miss getting uh, good crawfish back at home. What was your favorite activity while you were a student at LSU? My favorite extracurricular activity was probably hanging out at the Chimes and the Varsity, uh, watching the various music acts that came through town. So speaking of music, what's your favorite type of music to listen to? I like a wide variety. I try to keep up with uh, you know the, the more recent music, but I also listen to uh, many of the, the tunes that I grew up with um, in the 80s. Uh, we're here in our Mars yard. This is where we take our stunt double rovers and put them to the test, simulating the landscapes that we might find on Mars. And if you look closely, you might be able to see some yeah. Mars rover tracks in the soil here. Hey Keith, how do you like to spend your free time? Um, let's see. So. I like to do a number of things. Um, right now, I'm assistant coach for my son's little league team, which is a whole lot of fun. Uh, but I think the thing that I enjoy most, which I, I seldom get to do these days, is uh, fly. I'm a private pilot, and um, I enjoy that quite a bit. So Keith, who's your hero? Um, I'd have to say Neil Armstrong is my hero. Um, clearly, he was the first person to land on the moon, but um, he was a a true flight test engineer and pilot at his core and so he's been um, a role model for me for most of my life. Very cool. Who would play you in the movie of your life? Well the, inter the internet seems to think um, the answer to that question is Jeremy Renner after <laughs> the uh, Curiosity landing in 2012. What's one thing most people don't know about you? Um, I, I don't know if there's anything. Once um, my office mate told my future wife that uh, I'm an open book, what you see is what you get. Who is a professor that shaped you in your career? I would have to say uh, Dr. Uh, Bob Porter, um, mechanical engineering at LSU. Um, he uh, kind of helped me find my way um, as I was getting my BS in mechanical engineering and pointed me in the direction of Stanford, which is how I got here, out here to California. Very cool. What are the latest happenings at NASA you can share with your fellow Tigers? Well, one of our most recent successes is um, the Curiosity rover. It's uh, now been on Mars for almost six years, um, far beyond its prime mission, and it's kind of showing its age. So one of the mechanisms that were is a little bit temperamental now is the drill feed mechanism. and. For a while, we had to suspend drilling on Mars, but just this past weekend, we successfully uh, tried a new technique for drilling, and we're able to once again uh, drill into a rock on Mars and acquire a sample to do science on. Very cool. What's what's a goal you have for 2018? Well, I think the, the biggest goal in my life right now is actually a, a team effort with uh, the Mars 2020 team. We are scheduled to finish constructing um, the rover and all of its parts in preparation for it to go through um, environmental tests in the beginning of 2019. So that is the big focus of my life right now. That's a pretty big goal. <laughs> uh, well, if you weren't doing what you're doing right now, what other career would you have chosen? I probably would have thought very seriously about being a scientist. Keith, do you have any advice for kids that want to pursue a career in STEM? Oh, sure. Um, I think the biggest thing is to stay curious. Um, you know, a lot of the things that we do seem uh, really cool. It is very challenging sometimes, and uh, you know, your curiosity and your perseverance is what gets you through um, those difficult times. Um, so I think that would be the, the, the two pieces of advice I would have for kids who want to study STEM. Awesome. Well, 
why are you proud to be an LSU alum? Um, LSU really gave me the, the foundation that has uh, really been the launch pad for the rest of my career. Between mechanical engineering and physics, it really set me on a course um, to be successful in my career. Also, the, the spirit of LSU um, has been with me ever since I've left, and it keeps me coming back. Awesome. Well, thanks, Keith. We appreciate all your time today. Thank you.